Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to uh, SRL Solutions Self Reliance through Self Reliance through preparation, right? Right, preparation. So, what can you do to get prepared? Um, I've at, been asked several times. Shouldn't even say many, many times. Is there a resource to go to uh, that helps with all aspects of preparation? And I've the way I've always done it was just research on different subjects and went through and found my different, um, whether it be on YouTube or uh, articles or whatever, uh, books or ma a lot of magazines. Uh, I got started watching um, or reading uh, Backwoods Home Magazine, and that's what really got me started. And as you can see, one of the things I finished this week and I, is right behind me. You see those two water tanks? Uh, one is filled up with water from my hose, so it's drinkable water because it's got chlorine in it from the house. And the other one is for, you can see right off of my uh, water gutter, is uh, for rainwater, and that's for my garden, uh, which isn't huge, but it's you know, over there. And my chickens are down there. So that's all my, over there is all my um, garden space. But anyway, I wanted to make this video today because I found a great resource last night. I've, I'm trying to, uh, I was trying to find some books on uh, creating groups and buying land because I have people that I'm uh, uh, hopefully in the next year going to be doing so. So I've been looking for a lot of uh, materials on that. And I found a book on Amazon as one of the suggestions. And I got it because it's written by James Wesley Rawls, who wrote the uh, book, one of my favorite books, The Patriot. And I uh, wasn't sure what was going to be in it. But, man, I tell you what, this is the book. I'm going to flip it around here. This is the book that you need to buy. Um, it's How to Survive the End of the World as We Know It, Tactics, Techniques, Technology, and Uncertain Times. But what I loved about it, uh, I'm going to make sure I remember my page but as you can see I'm only partially through it but man I'm telling you what the lists that he has in here of, diff of this is an amazing book it really is if you want a book that covers everything um, from Gosh, I, I mean, he goes through every list that, uh, not only things to have, but things you should do, uh, you know, from your bug out bag to your bug out location, or as he calls it, the retreat, and uh, all the different things, and there's things in there, I've been doing this for almost 15 years now, and there's things in there I'm like, oh my gosh, I never thought of that, um, so that's, that's what made me uh, do this video, because several of my buddies, I'm like, hey, you guys really need to read this book, and... Uh, so anyway, that's what I wanted to do with this video was just uh, discuss what I found and what I thought. Because he was, again, the chapters, I, get, I don't know how if I can find it while I'm holding this phone. But it goes through like lists and um, the water and the food, all the foods. that And there was foods in there that I didn't even think about. Like one was uh, how much salt you should have. And that's... Not only for your family, but also for bringing the uh, um, um, animals like deer into your onto your property for for food. But it's just, I mean, everything in here is just your your priorities, your list of lists. I'm telling you, there are so many lists in here that are just amazing. I guess I should I should probably find. This is kind of hard trying to find it. Um, let's see. He goes, you know, there's a list for barter, and, and, and he's a Christian, so he actually makes a list of stuff that you should have for giving away to people. And what he talks about is list and how much food you should have and water and salt and the different water types of water and how you can uh, make water. All of it also is to give away a portion of it to people, uh, which is really, really cool. And if you read the book, The Patriot, part of their thing was to, to help. Um, Okay, let's see. I'm going to go through. I'll, I'll find one of the lists real quick that could, uh, you know, one of the things is people don't even think about neither that I've always said was, you know, birth control, uh, 
especially feminine hygiene pro- products, you know, I mean, gosh, things that, you know, it's a totally different way that we take care of those things than we used to. All right. Uh, okay, like your get out of Dodge Foods, you know, uh, what you should have in your thing, in your bing. And he always talks about, um, you know, your your beans, your bullets, and your band aids, and you know, people forget about medical supplies. Um, and one of the things I told one of my friends yesterday, funny, and he actually talks more about it, is corn. Because uh, cornmeal doesn't last, so if you have corn, you can also I buy popcorn, and you can grind it down uh, into cornmeal. But also, you can make cracked corn with it. And you can also make corn. Uh, the other thing they talked about, I didn't realize yesterday, I, think I have all this wheat, and they talked about uh, what they used to do when you used to hear the term cereal. You think oh, it's totally different now, but was uh, wheat berries, where you soak them in water for four, 48 to 72 hours, and then you heat them up, and it's it's breakfast cereal. Um, so anyway, I, I, this is more long-winded than I wanted it to, uh, sorry about that, but, uh, uh, hope you all come back and enjoy my videos. I'm going to be, start making a lot more videos. I know I haven't been very active lately, um, uh, been, uh, busy with, uh, being a full-time dad of four boys and, uh, also been busy with my girlfriend and now fiance and also trying to do prepping and I've taken a little break off of prepping because I got a little burned out which you can do you really have to be careful slow and steady and don't come from a place of fear and I'm gonna do another video on that later about how you should prep mentally because the COVID uh, virus thing was I didn't I was ready for everything like toilet paper <laughs> I didn't need any toilet paper I never went to the store for toilet paper but uh, just the emotional and mental toll that it takes on you it was you know I always knew about it always we always talked about it but you know it hit me harder than I thought it would so anyway I hope you all come back uh, uh, start watching some of the videos that I'm gonna do then uh, I think the first one I'm gonna post on that I have have to put together is on tick removal uh, great way to I'm in the woods a lot for deer hunting and I have ticks on me all the time and I have a great little great little tool that you uh, you can use that works amazing so come on back and thank you for watching my videos god bless you